Divine Revelation of Heaven and Hell by Eya Malia. My name is Malia, I'm 21 years old Malia and live in Quezon City, Philippines. I was raised a Christian, I knew my religion, but I didn't know God. When I was a teenager, 13 to 16 years, I became a carnal Christian and I went to church but also loved the world. Until one day, on March 2011 my mom brought me the testimony of Angelica Zambrano, a girl who testified heaven and hell. After reading, I cried repenting and confessing all of my sins. Eamalia. Afterwards, I felt the Lord's presence, and my body shook as if there was an earthquake, I was scared. Suddenly I began speaking in new tongues, I tried to stop my mouth but I kept uttering words. Then I heard an inward voice saying, open your mouth. Do not fear. It is I, my daughter. Then it suddenly stopped. I was shocked and immediately ran to my mother and shared everything. She said, it is the Lord, when he speaks again, listen to him. I went back to my bed thinking, does God really speak? As I went to bed, I had peace, joy, love, I felt I was totally cleansed and forgiven. And for that I began seeking his presence and started reading his words. To make the long story short, I fell in love with Jesus. My journey with him began. I saw the Lord. He has revealed himself to me many times. May 2013 was when I got serious for God in my faith, when I saw him descending on my room ceiling, he was wearing pure white robe, on his chest he had a gold sash, his golden hair touched his shoulders, he had gold sandals and on his face was just pure light. He told me my calling, revealed secrets, I saw angels and much more, Jesus is truly alive. And if you think he doesn't speak these days? You are totally wrong. He does speak, especially when we draw ourselves near to him and seek him with all our hearts. Acts 2.17-18, And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, your old men shall dream dreams. And on my menservants and on my maidservants I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. Visiting Heaven In October 2014 the Lord took me to heaven. At that time my sister was unwell after having a stoke and so I prayed earnestly for her and sought the Lord and worshipped with my guitar, singing songs in an unknown language. I felt the Lord's fire on me. All of a sudden, my body began shaking as if there was an earthquake. Then I fell down, losing all my strength. I was unconscious, but my spiritual senses are totally active. Meanwhile, I can feel angels all around me. I can feel God's presence as well. Thereafter, I was already in a vision, I saw myself being awakened by the Lord's glorious light, I also have seen eight angels who were with us. Eamalia went to heaven. I felt unexplainable joy. Then he put his right hand on me and said with a still, loving voice my daughter Malia, he called me by name. My pure-hearted daughter. I am glad you made it here. I've been waiting for you, I have so many things to show you. Come. Stand up, then I got up and held his hand. I was greatly stunned by the heavenly scene. I felt joy, peace, love, and full of awe. I will try my very best to describe this but these are too awesomely beautiful to describe properly. I noticed I was like a 12 year old girl. I was wearing a pure white long dress. I watched in splendor while walking along the crystal clear river, as far as my eye could see, the Lord told me my daughter, drink then I drank with my hands. Crystal clear river in heaven. It tastes so good. I've never drunk water as sweet and as soothing as this. I had a great joy and peace. Afterwards he said, I know you love swimming. Come, submerge on the water. I smiled and I submerged myself. While submerged on the water, I can see different kinds of sea creatures, fishes, turtles, and they were alive. Like they were talking and praising the Lord. I noticed also that I can talk and smile. I was waterproof. 
I had a great joy. After that, I noticed my clothes aren't wet at all. Jesus smiled at me, I can't see his face, but I know his lips moved every time he smiled, then he picked a rose that looks like diamond. I couldn't describe precisely. It's shining in brilliance. I was shocked, it bowed unto him. I was then so amazed. And he gave it to me. I held the rose and had an unexplainable joy. Revelation 22, 1-3 And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its street, and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. As we walk and watch in splendor, I can see that this place is truly exhilarating. I can't find words to describe this precisely. I don't want to wake up anymore. I saw big two rainbows on a soft blue sky. There were radiant colors of all sorts, some unfamiliar to me. I saw upright trees, which were greenish and were also unfamiliar to me. I also noticed that we were walking on a golden path, there are gemstones and the like around. Such a magnificent scene. Afterwards we walked on grass so green, and then we got through a nice sculptured bench with a touch of gold. We sat there for a moment and start conversing, telling him this heavenly place is where I want to spend my forever with. We shared many other things that are to be kept private. The angels in heaven. After that, Jesus introduced to me the eight angels who were with us. He introduced them by their names. I just could not remember those because it was so unique. Something I did never heard before. I can't remember their faces but I can tell that they were so beautiful. There were some of them who had no wings, some are tall, some had big two wings and some are holding a sword. Each time the Lord calls their name they gently bowed unto the Lord and smiled at me. I was honored and awed that very moment. Afterwards, we walked again and stopped. A horrifying sight. Then Lord showed me something in just one swipe of his hand, I saw hell. I saw the appalling condition of the lost souls, demons heartlessly tormenting people with sharp spears and sharp tools. I saw people burning in a pit in such horrible and dreadful way and another I saw people falling from the gates of hell. They were thousands of them. I heard them scream in terror. The lake of fire in hell. The Lord spoke can you see this my daughter? I was terrified and said, yes Lord and I don't want to see those anymore. I've known hell enough. I've been reading the testimonies of your servants. He said with a sweet lovely voice we will be going in here my daughter, don't be frightened. I am here. I will go with you. I will never leave you. Upon hearing those, my physical heart started to ache. I breathed in an unusual way. It was so strange. I don't know what's happening. And I said no Lord. I can't. I knew that place already. Please. I don't want to go to that horrendous place I pleaded him and cried. He sincerely said, we must go in here my daughter, many people don't believe that this place currently exists. I need you, my daughter, to testify. Have not I called you? Don't be afraid. I will never leave you. It was hard and painful to breathe that very moment. But Lord, not this time I cried and cried. All of a sudden, he swiped back his hand and the vision of hell was gone. He said, okay, my daughter, you are truly not ready. But you have to be ready. We will be going there as soon as possible. But don't be afraid, I am here. I'll go with you, he said with a lovely still voice. Suddenly, all the pains on my heart vanished. Then I said, but Lord, I don't want to go there. That place is too dreadful. I don't want to see demons, either the people who were burning in distress. Psalm 11, 4-6, His eyelids test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence his soul hates. 
Upon the wicked he will rain coals, fire and brimstone and a burning wind shall be the portion of their cup. He lifted my face and said my daughter I have not given you spirit of fear. I am with you always. I love you so much. I chose you. I called you. Do not fear. After that, I had an unspeakable joy. I laughed in the spirit. He continued but you must always pray, worship, read my words. You must always seek my presence. The devil will do everything to hinder you. You must be vigilant. And don't forget to write all of these to testify. Always remember, I am here. I am your faithful witness. I will never leave you. I will strengthen you. I love you so much my daughter. After hearing those, my physical eyes opened slowly. I realized everything, my life, my calling, and my family, relatives, the unbelievers, and the people who were still blind to all this. I am so burdened. My spiritual senses are now much more enhanced. All glory and honor belongs to him. John 3 colon 3 comma 7, Jesus said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God, you must be born again. Heb 12 colon 14 dash 15, Pursue peace with all people, and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord, looking carefully lest anyone fall short of the grace of God to be continue in her second revelation tiled five minutes in hell.